everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well and enjoying the update. It's definitely been a chaotic and overwhelming few days for me, but I'm finally getting to grips with things. And today I'm gonna run through with you some of the new daily tasks that you can do as part of version 2.0. If you're feeling a bit overwhelmed still, then this video should help you try and get your ducks lined up in a row, so to speak, and so you know what to do. If you do like the video, please remember to click the like button. And if you're not already part of the channel, I would love to have you here. So please remember to click subscribe. Let's get into the video. For number one, this is your friendly reminder to remember to water your crops. If you want a bountiful harvest at the end of the cycle, when the crops are all fully grown, then you need to remember to water them daily. If you do this daily, you'll have some extra crops and vegetables at the end of the cycle when you come to harvest them, which come in handy for when you're cooking all of those special meals. For number two, I would strongly recommend that you check your Nook's Cranny daily for brand new items. The update added over 9,000 new items, so you are bound to find something new every day. If not, keep your eyes peeled. You never know what will come the next day. Do not give up. In addition to checking your nooks cranny for brand new items, I would strongly recommend that you take a visit to the ATM machine. Remember to check the redeem nook miles section for brand new fencing and also the nook shopping app as you may get something brand new in there that takes your fancy. Unfortunately, there's nothing new in here before, but I have had the castle turret previously and also the pine tree, which is a super nice item. So don't forget about this section. At number four, I'm gonna suggest that you take your daily trip with Capin. Obviously, you can only do this once a day, so you may as well make the most of it. You never know where you may end up. And also, his froggy singing is very, very adorable. If you need a nice, relaxing moment, then just set sail on the high seas and enjoy the music. And clap away in the sun. For number five, you can also visit Haas Island for a spot of shopping. Don't forget to check out Kix's new offerings and what Leaf has to offer. By the looks of things, the crops at Leaf's change every Monday. Um, not sure if that's 100% right, but he does have a variety of things and it's always worth checking out. Today we have the sugarcane and the tomato, which is really nice. For number six, I would strongly recommend checking your Nook Miles Plus app because with the update, we've got some new daily challenges which will come with some rewards. For example, today I've got Refresh with Group Stretching Session. There's also new challenges for the cooking and a whole bunch of other things such as planting vegetables and harvesting them. So definitely check them out if you're in need of some Nook Miles to buy the brand new items. In at number seven, this is your reminder to drop in on the lovely Able sisters and check out their stock. You never know, they may have some brand new items that you haven't seen before. This one looks lovely. I'm definitely gonna have to get myself one of those. Um, and also, this is a great time to talk to Sable because there are new ways to use her custom designs that she gives you. So definitely, if you haven't already unlocked it, go ahead and do this now. It takes a while, but it will be worth it, especially if you want more options instead of having to rely on custom designs. For number eight, it's worthwhile visiting your villagers. Just like with crafting, they can give you new DIYs, but if your villager is cooking up a storm in their house, then they may well give you a new recipe. Look at Rasha here with his frying pan. Don't think you cook carrot juice in a frying pan, but thank you nonetheless for the new recipe. So don't forget to run around and visit your neighbors. For number nine, I'm gonna remind you about harvesting your fruit. And that's because the new recipes require some fruit for some of them, especially the smoothies. So if you want some adorable looking smoothies to have laid out on your island, don't forget to collect up those fruits, guys. 
For number 10, if you want to get hold of some new recipes, I would definitely recommend doing a daily fishing trip. You'll finally find a new use for those pesky sea bass. The snapper has also has a recipe associated with it, which I hadn't learned until now, so it's great that I have a new recipe. There's a few others that I've managed to get hold of so far. Let me know in the comments if you found any other recipes for any particular fish. But here is one for the dab, the horse mackerel, sea bass, sea bass again. Um, so definitely check them out because you'll be able to craft and cook a whole bunch of new things, which is really, really exciting and a great addition to the game. For number 11, it's definitely worth speaking to Katrina to check out your daily fortune. You can also check out your friendships with your villagers, which is super fun. And generally, it's just a nice thing to do every day just to see what your luck is. For number 12, I'm going to remind you to do your daily gyroid farming. The update introduced them and they're a really fun little thing to do. So if you don't know how to do them, all you need to do is dig a hole, water them, and then the next day you can come back and dig up a cute gyroid. I've had a few so far, one that looked like a pig, which was really cute. This is the duroid. I've not seen this one before. They make really cute little sounds and can be customized and just dance around. They're just a really cute little thing in the game. So enjoy. Next in at number 13, I'm going to suggest that you all check your beaches. You should be doing this anyway, unless you've managed to obtain all of the DIYs, which is a massive feat. Congratulations to you if you have. But there is new DIYs that have been added into the game. So don't forget to check your beaches. Find those DIYs in a bottle. You should get two a day. I think it works in the sense that you get one every 12 hours. So don't forget because there are some super cute things out there if you haven't seen my short i did find the new barrel i did manage to get that diy recipe from Cappins island so don't forget to check Cappins island for diy diy bottles as well they will come in super handy and you definitely want all of the new craftable items as well for number 14, you can always visit Harriet for a new hairstyle. Um, not sure this one's quite for me, so I'm going to go back to my original. Each day she should give you a different one, you can do it once a day. She does do it a bit aggressively, but nonetheless, the cute hairstyles are really nice. For number 15, why not stop off for your daily coffee? Um, I may be on my second cup. There's nothing wrong with that self-confessed caffeine addict over here. But yeah, it's just a super cute thing to do. You sometimes also get Nook Miles challenges for it. So you can do a cute thing and earn Nook Miles. What's not to love? And you can also visit people, allow amiibos to come in. It's just a really nice area. And we waited so long for Brewster. Why not? get the full use out of him. So guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you found it helpful. If you've got any other daily tasks that you'll be taking after the update, please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys. You always have such good ideas and such great tips. So don't be afraid to leave a comment. If you have enjoyed it, please remember to like. And if you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? Over 67% of you aren't subscribed. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you again soon with another video. Bye-bye.